Hello Links developer. Today we are going to use input in our Links.js application and as you see in the documentation is not a clear picture to how to implement the input and you people are commenting a lot that how you can integrate input field in Links.js application and today we are going to use that input field in our Links.js e-commerce application and as you see in the header there is one part is missing which is the input field now you can grab this entire code from this repo and as you see whatever the changes for the text input you can find it here in this branch in the main branch contain the main application layer in the justin setup contain the our st st like the store setup and the text input going to contain our input setup so how we can start dealing with that and for the documentation uh like uh, for understanding that one as you see that's our header where we're gonna use that right so we have our this view which is the home view like the icon parameter because in particular ratio it will be a different icon should be there so this is our header card and over here i'm going to make another view here and on that view i'm going to pass an input and on the input should be the placeholder should be search products here that's it so that would be a little bit a classic thing here so for that view put a class name which is going to be let's say input view and for the input class name we're gonna provide that class name as let's say input box that's it there's a two class name we're gonna combine or instead of this one as we're using the camel case we can just simply write this one so let's first go in our app.css here we're gonna write our first one which should be that input view right so over here we're gonna pass uh, like that it should be let's say display uh, display should be in line flex right and of course it should be taking that flex one to grab the entire properties here first of all we're gonna provide a background color just to see if it's getting or not so put a background which should be white and we're gonna provide a weight which should be let's say 100 percent and also you're gonna provide a height should be let's say 30 pixel if we save you see that one that is appearing now also we're gonna make a like we want to provide a margin and that margin should be like from left and right uh, from top bottom it would be zero pixel left and right should be five pixel so that should be a cramping over there so now we are having our input variation and let's say make that input i think the box so for the input box we need to also combine that so as you see instead of parsing that background color here i'm gonna cut it because this one it will not having any background color i'm gonna put a background color here and for the width should be 100 percent and the height i'm gonna provide a 30 pixel also i can now remove that height from our parent so as you see this height no need to be occurring here and that's the same thing is passing that and also for the border radius should be five pixel just to align and also i'm going to provide a padding and for the padding if we provide like from the top bottom zero pixel from left right i'm going to provide a five pixel horizontal padding so now you see now you can type anything and it will provide a particular data that's how easy to create an input and there is a very less documentation and actually we are not understanding how the things can be done that's the problem here and also for instead of 30 i think it should be better 28 a little bit yeah i think that's good so now how we can make a function by which we can write something here right so first of all i'm going to make that a state here which is going to be search and should be set search and it should be a from use state and you need from import from that links js first of all we need to go at the top you see that legacy runtime should not be there just things react should be there and we're gonna create a function here so it should be similar now you can find the rest of this in this documentation here in that links doc you see how they use that bind input that's the one we're gonna use to implement that so let's say uh, to that bind input okay should be bind input and that should be let's say handle input and also you're gonna just go at the top const handle input that similarly should be an even value and from there we're gonna just lock the event just to see what kind of things is happening so let's say e and we're gonna pass the event for right now we will not be following through any of the type parameter because still we are having a very less documentation right there so we're gonna go with our uh, normal flow and i'm gonna remove everything from there and let's type something and see uh okay i think we need to reload that segment just to see the changes so let's reload and then 
let's see if we're typing something here okay no we are not getting it okay let's see we are having a handle input function need to get the log or instead of uh, e we can just simply pass that event so that i think it can log that one event and then we can just see if it's passing anything in our console or not if we're just typing something no it's not actually passing anything that's really annoying that should pass that okay where we pass that function so this is our ah okay <laughs> that's that's really bad that's really bad we are passing that a function in a wrong place so it should be here that input that should be here okay that's just a simple minor mistake you know that happens sometimes so now if we go in our over here and you can type something you can see it's getting the object and the object is coming here in the i think the in the detail than the value so object detail dot value should be our actual value so let's say event dot so no need this one even uh, dot detail dot value so now if we try this one and writing something again you see the value is just here so instead of writing this one like that we can simply pass that set one search as that and if we just lock now the search value we should be able to get our search parameter so search and now if we just go here and type something yeah it's working perfectly and whenever we are having some text we also want an a close icon button right that's what we need to create so user can easily close that text whenever they want so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna import one image which i'm having here as a close.png i'm gonna grab that one so let's just say import let's say close from that should be coming from asset close.png and over here as you see that input view we're gonna pass one image and on that particular image parameter let's say passing that source uh, should be our let's say close that one and for the class name should be close icon it's save and i'm gonna copy that class name let's go in our app.css and over here we're gonna pass that one and one thing i need to do it also what is that to make that one as relative because this will be combining this one on that top of the parameter so i'm going to make that position should be absolute and like that from the top right five from the top five you can see that is right there and instead of 15 we can just make that one as 10 okay good then from the right i'm going to make it a seven and from the top let's say it should be seven more i think the eight should be doing the purpose okay cool and also what i'm gonna do this image it always not be there okay it will only there whenever the search parameter is available and and that value should be appearing so right now it should uh, disappear okay but i think uh we also need might need to get a little bit reload here so that we can get the clear picture if i go here you see if the value is done it just disappear okay so that's the same thing going to happen and also one more thing i need to pass here whenever we're gonna on tap on that like it should be let's say bind tab and simply we can just run a function that set search value should be empty right that's a simple procedure which we can do now if we go and make something click that is empty but didn't pass a value over here for the input so the input value should be search and now if i go and type something boom type something boom type something let's say product and it's simply getting done and for this parameter here for that right now i'm gonna just ignore that so i'm gonna make the ts ignore just to ignore that parameter so as you see it's pretty simple to go with that and we did our search parameter now what we need to do we need to implement the search details and others we're gonna do it so first of all let's just pass that one for that you should have it in your arsenal so let's say text input add it enter so now what you can do you can just if you want to clone it if you clone you should have that entire code base like whatever we type whatever we did it should be happen to be here so you can clone it and you can try it you know you people have it a bit like it's difficult to get that so now we know how to implement that one so i think you can use it in your application in a very good way and for the links 
whatever the feature you are looking forward let me know in the comments i'm gonna import i'm gonna just inject it uh, slowly slowly one by one because i want to explore it more so all the best do that imp like implement that uh, text input and i'm gonna see you in next video